greetings. I hope this finds you well. So I thought it would be kind of interesting to respond or react to some of the comments on the video I made a few days back regarding Cornell West going on the Jimmy Dore show and then having that discussion about white supremacy and how Jimmy Dore didn't think it should be highlighted or part of the campaign really at all and how Cornell West um, obviously, you know, he mentioned how class is very important, but how he's not going to, you know, not focus, you know, when it's appropriate, when it makes sense on, you know, issues of white supremacy. He's also going to stand up for LGBTQ people, um, et cetera. So I thought it would be kind of interesting to go over and react to uh, some of those, some of those comments here. Wait, um, let's see. Definitely uh, triggered some folks that that is for sure. So this person said Jimmy was absolutely right. Um, how is not being able to say what you want free speech not important? I didn't say Jimmy being able to say what he want wasn't uh, important. Um, say when when did I say free speech wasn't? I've been haven't been typing a whole lot. Um, boom everything Jimmy said was right and why he said it went way over his head. No, I understand what he was saying. He said it because he thought Cornell's strategy wasn't a winning strategy. And as Cornell pointed out, you can have both. You can focus on class and white supremacy and these other issues. They're not quote unquote, you know, culture war issues or identity politics like Jimmy was trying to say or did say they're all they're all related class and race are deeply deeply connected bravery yes jimmy is jimmy is so brave yes jimmy is, is <laughs> so brave oh <laughs> wait let's do an emoji emoji uh, smile face. <laughs> oh man! Oh. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> I think it's you who still needs educating. You're right about the wealth gap, but you're blaming the wrong people. I hope you learn. Uh, just didn't really make sense. Um, just a lot of like again, it's the it's the cult of personality that seems to exist around Jimmy Dore. He oftentimes has interesting and worthwhile things to say, and then other times I think he is a bit off base, which is fine. Nobody, I don't think, is hundred percent correct all the time. You know, nobody nobody is perfect, right? But it's important to be able to criticize yourself and have others criticize you as well. Um, but he seems to exist in an echo chamber and the people who are always standing him, um, you know, are just just King, King Jimmy. He can he can do no wrong. He, you know, he shits gold bricks, basically. Um, American superhero. Yeah, I definitely don't agree with the Fauci. Yeah, I don't agree with the um, Fauci comment. Uh, that's for sure. Um, Jimmy was trying to help Cornel West. That's what he was trying to do during the interview. Um, uh, I think if he was, in fact, trying to help uh he was coming he was 
coming at it in the wrong way, coming at it from the wrong perspective. Wrong way. Again, he did a very kids club interview with RFK Jr., at least from the clips that I've seen. Um, again, who apparently is now a huge stand of the apartheid state of Israel. You just heard or one of these clips during the interview he had with Jimmy Dore, he was talking about, you know, the plight of the Palestinians. <laughs> oh, man. Psych and get it. I was on a bike ride. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> a active ad. Jimmy's awesome. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> uh, West has been a mess of la massive let down. I mean, I don't I don't feel it that way. No. Nope. Agree to disagree. Massive letdown. Have I ever heard of the term divide and conquer? Left versus right, which, what? You just. <laughs> Mr. Door. <laughs> oh, fucking A, dude. That's. Dude, this person is deeply, deeply confused. Like, Rich, who the fuck do you think's doing the dividing, you dummy? It's the fucking rich owning class. Ah, oh, deeply, deeply confused. Deeply confused you are. <laughs> Yoda voice. <laughs> Education, you must seek. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> See you again. All right. And just for reference, just for reference, let's go back. And watch that clip that's drawing so much ire from the, uh, you know, Jimmy Dore contingent. Okay. Make sure I have it. Okay. I got it pulled up here. Um, okay. Here we go. to the two major parties to bring together disaffected members of those parties along with independents and others who feel alienated from the political system as it exists and and the best way to do this is by running on economic issues that unite us west is running on economic issues he but which neither major party is willing to address because they're both beholden to the same powerful corporate interests. The Democratic Party long ago abandoned the working class in favor of beating the drum on cultural issues. And now that's all the Democrats have to run on. So if voters are looking for a party running on trans rights and calling Donald Trump and his supporters white supremacists, they can already vote for Democrats. The role of a third party is to focus not on the identity politics that divide us, but on core economic issues that unite us along class lines like Christian Smalls did at Staten Island. Again, does Jimmy Dore not under he obviously doesn't understand how race and class are deeply connected in the United States. Who do you think, you know, he talks about identity politics and cultural issues. Does he not realize who makes up a majority or big chunk of the working class are people of color, are immigrants, are LGBTQ folks, right? Race and class are deeply 
deeply connected. Do you think he's, he led with LGBTQ trans rights and white supremacy, or do you think he organized along class lines? That's what we have to do. You have to organize, meet people where they are. That's a, so what is your... Yes, perhaps he did organize along class lines or, you know, workers in general at the Amazon, you know, warehouses. But do you think if there was, you know, racism or misogyny or homophobia or transphobia or xenophobia or overt, you know, white supremacist stuff taking place, do you think, um, you know, Chris Smalls would have just, well, just, just sweep that under the rug, you know, we've got to keep going along class lines. No, you can focus on both. You can walk and chew gum at the same time as Cornel West Point. You plan out. to organize along class lines, or are you going to keep talking about white supremacy and all those identity politics, which are there, not from the ground up, from the top down, to make sure we stay divided? What is your plan to organize along class lines? Well, I appreciate, again, the clarity and candor of what you have to say. We have profound disagreements, brother. When I, when I, when I, organized around white supremacy. I'm not making some utilitarian calculation. I'm speaking as a black man who comes out of a tradition that's been terrorized and traumatized by white elite. And that that does not in any way mean it takes me away from class issue. Class exactly. You can focus on both. Issues are crucial. Trans class issues are fundamental. But it doesn't mean that I'm putting up with white supremacy. One of the problems is that you get too many folk who want to talk class, 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 and can't say my mumbling word about white supremacy, <laughs> exactly. police brutality, wow. can't say a mumbling word hardly. Or when they do say it, you call it identity politics as if it's not connected to exactly. class. Exactly. I'm hitting these head on. Mm -hmm. I'm standing with the workers when it comes to strikes. I'm standing with the workers when it comes to greedy bosses. I'm standing with the workers when it comes to obsession with profits and the needs not in any way being satisfied. But I'll never for a minute be silent I'm not, or, or not raising my voice in terms of vicious treatment of black people, indigenous people, gay brothers, lesbian sisters, or trans. It's not an either or. And that's, that's where you and I have a deep, profound dis. It's not an either or, as Corno West said. Should we respond to a few more before we end this video? And I go outside and do bike riding. Um, West supports vaccine mandates, clueless on COVID. Um, I don't know if, I don't think he's clueless on COVID. He just had a disagreement with Jimmy. Jimmy thought it, kind of the COVID stuff should be one of the core issues. And while Cornel West thought it was important, it wasn't going to be the central um, focused wants to be in the club uh, I think he does I don't think he wants to be in the club I think he really comes at it from a perspective of wanting to create some radical change to you know help people Lucy has moved the ball every single time. Who is Lucy? Mm. And I mean, yes, the vaccine stuff is important. It was fucked up. Shouldn't have been mandated that experimental vaccine, 100%. I don't think it's the, necessarily the most important, though. It's important, but, you know, how about... Um, you know, getting closer and closer to World War Three with Russia and or China. Um, how about the deepening, you know, wealth inequality, the material conditions continuing to deteriorate, um, you know, police murdering a thousand people a year plus in the United States. Um, there's, there's a lot of important issues, so. <laughs> Don't worry, but super hard black rock will win again. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah. I'm going to say straight to the gulag for you. 
Straight to the gulag for you. For some straight to the gulag. I was going to say for some political education. Um, I think Jimmy is right. Who is who is magnifying? Pretty like. Where is this magnification talking about? I mean, I don't know. I'm a liberal. People are hopeless. This is a long ass fight. Uh, that's too long, but but I appreciate that effort. That is insane. Jimmy has a huge blind spot. In it. I mean, it's, it kind of seems that way. I mean, he's defending Kyle Rittenhouse in the past. <laughs> Definitely some. Stands for sure. Not that tight spell it. Okay. No worries, comrade. <laughs> Just trolling people now. <laughs> Huh. Okay, that's another long one. Uh, yeah. So Biden and Trump are poop. No, he did sweep it under the rug. Did watch the tape. Let's do two more. Uh, <laughs> open your chakra, comrade. Yeah. Force boosting. Yeah. Interesting take. Oh yeah. <laughs> I definitely don't believe in the force boosting and I never saw the mask and stuff as a huge deal, honestly. It's just a fucking mask, get over it. Uh tap dance for door. You don't know, and I don't like the really the word tap dance. I feel like that got some kind of racial over, overtones. But uh, sometimes the truth hurts. The truth. Oh, that ain't bad. Be liking that one. Mostly maggots. Maggots? Maggots? Did they, that, is the T intentional? I don't know what that means. Triggered. <laughs> I would be a kid. <laughs>
That would be a Ken, not a Karen. All right. Uh, enough of that. But that was kind of fun and, <laughs> and cathartic. Let's see what kind of comments uh, this video gets. That's uh, uh, that mountain. Damn, that's hard to fucking do. That mountain back there is uh, Mount Rainier. It's on some local trails here. Uh, peace. Much love. Try to be kind to each other, but also it's important to engage in criticism and, and self-criticism. Something we all can, I think, work on. Jimmy Dore included, right? Peace. Much love.